Hey class, we're on to lesson 9.5. We're talking about angles and polygons. And specifically in sixth grade, you're going to be talking about the inside angles and polygons, not the outside angles. If you're not sure what I mean by outside, I mean these blue ones here. Right? You'll talk about that in seventh and eighth grade. But in sixth grade, we talk about the inside angles. And if you add up all of these, if you plus them all together, you can figure out what that number would be by taking the number of sides and subtracting two. And the reason why we do that again is because if you pick one vertex, you can't just do it wherever you want to, if you pick one vertex, so I'm gonna pick this point right here, and you make straight lines to the other vertices to make triangles, you end up making two less triangles than sides. One, two, three, four triangles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And if you know how many triangles there are, you can just multiply by 180 degrees. And that's what's coming over here. So there are four triangles. Each one is 180 degrees. So that's a total of 720 degrees. All right, let's do one example of how to find the, into the sum and then what we can do with that sum. So the very first one says the number of sides. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight sides, which means the sum of the interior angles should be, well, eight minus two is six. So it should be six times 180. Let's try it out. Six times 180, 1,080 degrees. 1,080 degrees. So we should be able to find six triangles hiding in here. Again, you have to pick one corner, one vertice. You can't start moving them all around. One, two, three, four, five lines. One, two, three, four, five, six triangles. There they are. It's kind of a cool thing. That works. So anytime you know how many sides there are, you take that and you minus two, and then you take that number, so in this case six, and you times by 180 degrees. Now, when you know how many total degrees are in a shape, then you can start to solve for a missing angle. Right? So even though this shape is kind of wonky, right, we would call this an irregular shape, it means that all of the sides aren't the same length and all of the sides have, sorry, all of the corners, all of the angles have different measurements. Right? It's not quite as pretty as the last one we looked at. This is a regular octagon. So it just kind of, I don't know, just makes my eye more attracted to it. I just think that having the same length sides and the same angles just kind of stands out to me, you know, kind of like a stop sign. All right, so this is an irregular shape. You can see all the numbers inside the interior of the shape are different, except for that one right there. This is the one we have to figure out. And to do that, we're going to start by counting the sides. One, two, three, four, five. So this is a pentagon. There are five sides. So if we want to find the sum of the interior angles, we would say five take away two, then times 180 degrees. Right, so 5 take away 2 is 3. So 3 times 1,080 is 3. Something went wrong there. I'll try that again. 3 times 180, there we go, is 540. So all the numbers in gold should add up to 540 degrees. But so far, we don't have 540. So far, we have these gold ones. So if we add them together, 118 plus 105 plus 75 plus 130 degrees, that will get us so far, 118 plus 105 plus 75 plus 130 equals, that gets us 428. But our total was supposed to be 540. So if we're going to find the missing angle, we can say, well, the total is 540 
take away the one the 428 that we already have 540 minus 428 that was an extra zero 540 minus 428 is 112 that means x is 112 degrees there aren't a ton of problems on this sheet i know the video was a little bit longer so i tried to make um, this worksheet a little bit shorter if you have questions check in with your friends or check in with me